wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying. You better loosen your belts. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas, and some kind of love, my friend. Pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas, and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you. Oh, it's such a charm. Got you up in my arms. There's nobody at the door. You said I wish this will never be over, darling. It's time for your present. Come over here now. It is time to get out in the snow, lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. Here on our own, we got nothing to fear. It's Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. Pick up some candy canes and hang a wreath on your door. It's Christmas. Outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you.
Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. You're missing. I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. This Christmas, I only want. Close to you. Magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow.
nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presents stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. Take me away, Christmas Day.
Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing this evening? Welcome to our Christmas at Heart production 2021. I'm April and this is my dear hubby. KC, and I'm so glad that all of you are able to join us in celebrating this evening. That's right, it's my most favorite time of the year. Why don't we start by taking a walk down memory lane, mm -hmm. looking at how we celebrated Christmas over the last five years. Yes, well, in 2016, we celebrated with a touching play highlighting the importance of every single life. And it was a drama called Life, No Take Two. And then the next year, the theme was a Middle Eastern theme called Egyptian Night, mm -hmm. which focused on the great escape from wow. the nation of Egypt. Wow. And then after that, we went to the Far East and we had a bit of a reality show then. We, and Bruce Lee was our special guest and what a hero he was, just like Christ is our hero. And then we ended a decade with a drama of a modern family. This was a family that was dysfunctional, uh, but was reconciled because of the work of an angel in disguise. And you know, mm. we all can be that angel in disguise to bring the good news. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. <laughs> yes, you did. We had an incredible production about friendship and a genuine meaning of a gift. It was called the hamper. And oh, we never underestimate the power of a simple gift from a true friend. This year <laughs> To save me from tears Oh yeah, <laughs> we have a series of amazing performances lined up to entertain you And uh, we've got people from different generations, the young and not so young Why we're gonna start with a little bit of carol singing from the team And we can worship together with them And I hear it's really special because there are mm -hmm. teens and youth involved as well Right, after which then we will hear some amazing testimonies from different ones of their stories in the journey of the year 2021. Right, and then the next one we get a cute couple who's gonna do a bit of a dance for us because they're in such good joyous spirit all because Christmas is here. And then for the moment we've all been waiting for, yeah. the premiere of the blockbuster, Miss Joy in Lockdown. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see that. After that, Pastor's going to come and share with us a word for the end of this year. So come on, guys. Let's get let's ready. Popcorn ready? And let's enjoy it. Let the show begin. The 
something really that drastic for me but it's my social life that was very different for this year. First thing eh, lockdown we cannot go and visit friends. Actually we missed all our grandchildren. Yeah this is indeed a time of missing. I should say that uh, 2021 is different from last year. Um, a year of perseverance and season of waiting also. 2021年對我來講是很特別的一年啊,因為在今年發生了蠻多對我來講沒有experience過的事情 Hi, I'm Mary. Hi, I'm Bilhar and we are from Prominent Life. I'm working here in Malaysia for uh, more than three years now and I'm living with my husband who is a full-time homeschooling EJ. This year is more challenging to us. You know, from the time that Mary got COVID, we don't know how to fight with it. Um, it's, it's a very traumatic experience personally when you are isolated, you are alone, and you, your, your husband and your son are outside. But you cannot hug them, you cannot talk to them. So they said that COVID not just um, trigger or affect your uh, physical health, but it also affect your mental health. So that's what happened to me. That's what I personally experienced. I'm Jack. I'm 14 years old. Now I'm currently in the Teens Boys 2 Life group from youth. And I'm serving as a guitarist for the youth service. 
My biggest challenge this year has definitely got to be uh, seeing my friends' faces through my screen, through my uh, computer screen. Because every time, normally after use or the main service, we would hang out outside or just stick around for a while. But now, every time after we end the online service, the only thing we would do is either say goodbye and do our own thing or talk through the screen, which really gives a different vibe compared to when you're talking physically face to face. My name is Max Ng. Uh, hello everyone, and uh, I'm a retiree. I'm right now the Hokkien Life Group leader. And this is my lovely wife, Kathy. Yeah, this is indeed a time of missing, a lot of missing within this period of lockdown. We couldn't move, we, we got stuck in the place, in, in a house here. Every year we, we do visiting a few times, uh, visit our children and also grandchildren. So we miss them very much. Especially my uh, grandchildren call us. Early morning, find something, he wake up, he cry. The mommy asks, why you cry? He said, oh, I miss Popo, I miss Kong Kong, you know? So when the mom uh, sent me the video, I saw it, I cried also, I miss them so much. Yao 其实也没有想过意外的感觉蛮平静的还有他因为阿爸天父在我的身边陪着我 It was a good preparation from me uh, by God He put me through the homeschool phase So it was really easy for me to shift from hanging out physically to online And I would like to thank God for uh, giving me the ability to cope through my social situation very fast when I think back, it's good to spend time, you know, with more time for each other and God also reading the Bible and sometimes uh, listen to the message. Besides reading the Bibles and spending time with God, I've been, I've been interested in uh, doing puzzle and uh, I have completed three 1,000 pieces puzzle during this, this time and, you know, spending time with each other, that is wonderful. By the grace of God, we were able to pass the test First of all, I want to thank God for the healing that He uh, gave me. Praise God for the love that we received from our life group, from the church. The prayers are overflowing and I'm really overwhelmed with the love and support that we received. And if you're ever in a hard situation, just know that God is your refuge and your stronghold. Psalm uh, 46 verse 10, be still and know He is God. Trusting in God is the paramount thing for all of us. His grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. This is what I want to leave this verse to everyone from Philippians 4, 6-7. It says there that uh, do not be anxious with anything but uh, in prayer and petition with thanksgiving submit your request to God and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind with Christ Jesus.
Do you even understand how much I have lost over your slow and tidak apa attitude? You said you needed one week to get it done. Now it's already three freaking months delayed. Try everything you could, but there's really nothing else that we can do anymore. I do not give a. Do you think I can? I'm sure you understand. It is your problem. I have never ever delayed my payment to you to get my job done, and I do not listen to excuses. And you have two weeks to make sure everything is in place. Joy! Wait, 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 you know what? Why? What happened? I'm just about to take my lunch now. Is this something bad? You, know, you can't believe what I heard today, man. You know, the company is going to lay off. Oh my goodness. Are you sure? Hey, yeah, lah, very sure. According to Selina. Remember? Selina, the BA? You know, they had a meeting this morning. Like, yeah. She tell me, then I'm gonna tell you. Lo. Then, did she tell you what department? You know, I think Selina say it's mostly customer service at admin. Stuff lah. I think lah. Wait, wait. Are you saying that my department will get closed down? Yeah lah. That's why I'm calling you ma. That's why I tell you lah. You better look for a new job lah before they announce. Wow. I also don't know when they. Malaysia's daily COVID-19 cases have also hit an all-time high. More than 17,400 infections have been recorded just days before the country's state of emergency is due to expire. Authorities have warned that cases will continue to rise as more people are being encouraged to use self-test kits. The surge has crippled the medical system. Hospitals are overloaded with a record number of critically ill Hey, Jess. Hey, Jojo. Yeah. Hey, you chill me. Yeah, I eat really low. So I just ordered grab food just now because my fridge no more food now. Ayyo. I'm doing grocery for you and bring it to you. Hey, no, no, it's okay la. Just try not to go out. Very dangerous today. It's okay. It's just groceries. Fun to wear. Sushi, mm. Okay, then you come over also so we can have dinner. Yeah? Alright. Good. I'll see you then. Bye. Mm. Bye, Dad. We need help from the peripheries, from the primary health care center. Thank you, Lord, for the food that we're about to eat. We give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Yes. Let's eat. So what did you cook? It's just something simple. I found it from um, YouTube. Try and see. Really? Okay. Mm. Okay. Improve. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. good. Yay. Okay. It's safe to eat. Yeah. So how's everything? How's life? <sighs> Same loads, eh. Very busy. And you know, uh, the other day I just got scolded by one of my clients. You know? And he really? keeps saying that like it's our fault, he keeps blaming us on the deadline and everything. It's... Now even when my phone rings, right, I don't even dare to answer it anymore. I'm just That's so bad. Uh. Yeah. All because of this MCO. Mm -hmm. We never expect everything to get delayed until now. Yeah. But this client, he don't understand. You know? No matter how much I try to explain, but he just thinks that it's our fault. Everything is unpredictable right now. No, honestly, I Sam. I don't know how long this thing can last, you know. I don't know how to take it anymore. Every day, I keep thinking about the stress, work, life. Some of this pandemic. How am I supposed to live my life? Do you need the OT? Yeah. Even after this dinner, I have to continue working. Because the deadline. Oh, so um, what about Tuesday? Do you need to do OT on Tuesday? I don't think so. Why? Okay, why not de-stress with a change of scene? Come to our life group. Mm. Seriously, Jeff? Yeah. yeah, why not? You need some different scene, you know, to de-stress yourself? Hard. Do you know me, Jeff? 
I don't fit in in this kind of social gathering. It's okay. There's only a few of us, and you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna have fun. But now MCO, right? I don't think you guys are allowed to do gatherings. Ah, we can do virtually, so we can actually do Zoom. All right? Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday. Ona, ona. Hey, confirm di la. Your whole department will be closed down la. We. Everyone's getting the sack la. Seriously. Uh, sorry, is it? Tuesday. We're good. Yep, you're coming. Hey la. I... Anything, I guess. I guess I'll try. Hmm. Are you okay? I mean, I just invited you to life group. Is it that bad? No, that's it. It's not about that. So, what's going on? Honestly, my company is retrenching. Huh? And Tony just texted me saying my department will close down next week. Are you sure? Is it confirmed? Yes, Dad. Ninety percent of Tony's news are all very soon one. This means ah, uh, next week I'm not gonna have a job anymore. You know, how am I supposed to find a job at a time like this? I don't even know where to start looking. It's just so stressful. I don't know what to do. Yeah, don't worry. I have faith. Okay, and you know what? God is gonna be with you. You're gonna do well. Let's pray. Can I pray for you? I'll pray for you. Lord, we thank you so much for my dear sister Joy, and I'm so glad that you are here to protect her, and you are here to give、um, her everything that she needs. And Lord, in this situation, I know you have plans for her, plans that would prosper her and be good for her. So we give you praise and thanks for everything that you are going to do for her. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Dad, are you gonna sleep like that? Relax first, relax first. Okay, but you look very funny. Oh yeah. Relax. Are you sleeping already? Hmm. Can I ask you something personal? After mommy and daddy died, right? From the accident. Why do you still believe in God? I mean, I'm just wondering. After all of this happened. Can you still believe that God is real? If He's real, right? How can He take away two most important people of our lives away from us? If I don't believe in God, I won't be here with you. He has brought me through the darkest time in my life as well. And you know what? If I look back, God is still. Joy Lai, thank you for your help.、Mm-hmm. Resume is impressive, but we have decided to find someone with more hands-on experience. <sighs> hey, 
Anthony. Hey, Joy. Hey, look for job, did not. Next week they will announce the list ready, mm. eh? Yeah, I'm still finding for a job, but it's not going so well. I think ah, uh, you gotta be quick ah. Uh. Ah, uh, whole kata is not me lah who got sack ah, uh, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that. Hey, hold on. Um, Tony, I have to call you back. It's Mr. Fun again. I think I'm gonna burn out. Okay, okay, good luck, lah. Hi, Mr. I'm going to withdraw all my contracts and make sure your stupid company pays off all my losses. What kind of service is this? You know what? You're gonna kill my business with all your slow response even before the virus kills me. Gotta be kidding me. together. See you at 8.30. Excuse me. Are you ready? Mm, I don't know. I'm nervous. There you go. Hey, Joe. Oh, looks like we have a new friend today. Who is that? Hi, Gilbert. This is my sister, Joy. Hi, hi, Gilbert. Oh. Hey Joy! Yeah, just call me Gil Ken already. Okay, just wait for others for a while, then we will start soon. Hi! Hi! Hey everyone, this is my sister Joy. Hi Joy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joy. We're glad that you can join us today, Miss Joy. Hey, don't call her Miss Joy. She doesn't like it. Why then? Because she's afraid that she might miss the joy, you know that? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's fine. She's single? Hello! Seriously? Hello! Hi! Really? Come on! Just asking you. Alright, alright. We shall start our session, alright? Okay, let us be reminded, you know, his goodness in this season. So before we end, any prayer requests? Anyone? Joyce? Yeah, so please pray for her, pray for Joy, pray for her job that she might have joy and peace. Joy to have joy. <laughs> Alright, thank you everyone. Bye! Bye everybody. Thanks for inviting me. So how do you feel? How is it? It's very refreshing, honestly. <laughs> Not bad, right? I had fun actually. So? How do you find Junhan? Seriously? <laughs> Hi, hi, Miss Cheong. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Uh, uh, my name is Joy Lai. I am um, 24 years old and um, I used to work as the customer service representative and um, administrative in Every Nation company. Uh, why are you uh, at applied for this job? God is with you, alright? In my many years of experience, I have learned troubleshooting, team management, and also execution. And in my current role, I assist my manager in many different projects. So I believe that I am a suitable candidate for the position that you are. 
are looking for. Coming soon, huh? Let's have birthday and early Christmas celebration. Okay, Mo. Hey, Dad. I just got your gift from the Korea guy. Thank you so much. Wow, Christmas and birthday together in one, huh? Can I open it? Oh, don't I only open? Pick up. <laughs> hey, Dad. Why you didn't answer my phone call? I was just about to tell you amazing news. I just got the job. I can't believe it. This is like the best birthday gift ever, man. Hey, tonight you better come, okay? I'm gonna cook something holy for you <laughs> to celebrate. All right. See you. Better reply me, ah. Uh. Finally, Hey, you finally know how to call me back. Ah. Hey, Joy. It's me, Joshua. Oh, hey, Joshua. Sorry, I thought you were there. Hey, but why are you using Jazz phone? Hey, look. I have something to tell you. Joe just got COVID. What? Just got tested COVID positive. Wh what do you mean? She started feeling unwell a few days ago, so I brought her to clinic to test this morning. Turns out to be positive. But, don't worry. She's resting now and uh, having a little fever. Well, she can make it tonight, and that's why asked me to call you first. Just keep her in prayer, she'll be fine. And by the way, happy birthday, Joy. Dear Joy, 
Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. I hope you like this suffuser that I got you with this bag of joy. <laughs> I have been thinking of what to get you. And when I saw this bag, I thought, oh, it's so cute. You can actually get to fill it up with joy, right? <laughs> anyway, I continue to pray that your life will be filled with so much joy and that it will also be filled with the fragrance of Christ. You know, I'm really happy that you have agreed to come back to church. I have always been praying for this ever since mom and dad passed away. I know that you are curious to know, why do I still believe in God, even after all that has happened? I heard you. I don't think you remember that time, you know, during the wake. I was actually crying in secret. I asked God, why? Why did all of this have to happen? What was he thinking? But then, that's when I encountered him. In a way that I just cannot describe. There was such an unexplainable peace and joy. I felt God come over me and told me that He is with me. You know the verse, neither death nor life nor anything else will be able to separate us from the love of God? That actually kept ringing in my ears. And somehow I felt so loved, a love that I have never known. I hope that you can also encounter him and that he will be your strongest anchor. That you remember in all situations that he has the best plan for you. Joya, always know that God loves you so much and I love you too. Merry Christmas. What happened? No lah, you know since you left right, you know this Mr. Mm. Tan ah, every day call me, you know, allow eh. I can't take it eh. Too many things really, seriously. Hey Tony, are you free on Tuesday night? Christmas everyone, I want you all to give a big hand to our Christmas at Heart production team. You know, some of us do not know how much work okay, they have put in. Okay, from the idea to the script writing to the shooting and then to edit and put all this production together. So I want you to give a big hand okay, to our production team. Yes, that's right. Good job team. You know, I've got a, a short message okay, for all of you okay, today. Now, truly from the March 2020, till now, okay, whether you are near or far, okay, every one of us is affected okay, by this pandemic. Some lost jobs, some uh, business affected, and majority of us, of us have to work from home. You know, somehow hashtag stay home, stay safe become the most popular Okay, uh, hashtag okay, all over okay, the world. You know, everything in life seems on hold, frozen for the longest time. And for those who are introvert, maybe it's good for you. But many of you who are extrovert, okay, probably feel uh, uh, stressed and probably somehow has become so crazy for you. And I heard that many couldn't uh, know how to end their work 
each day because work from home. I can really feel okay, the stress okay, that you have. You know, for some, you have found the secret how to grow fat because many that I heard that uh, while working on home, you keep on going okay, to the fridge, to the kitchen, okay, to find some food okay, to eat. Now, this is just talking about work. How about those who are suffering? Okay, from illness, uh, loss of family members during this uh, period of pandemic. It's not easy okay, for them. What about those who wanted to get married? Okay, their wedding dates keep on delaying and keep on postponing. And uh, how hard is it okay, for them okay, to find okay, the day and to invite and their, their relatives and parents okay, to come? Uh, every hope and every joy almost lost in the thin air. Well, what do you do? Some, I heard that they start relying on their own strength. Some wonder if God has their best interests in mind. Okay, what about some become paralyzed because of fear and, and, and stop moving forward? And this is really real. Real people with real okay, problems. But this Christmas, I want to say that you must not miss joy in lockdown. This is a very uh, theme okay, that we have okay, for our Christmas and heart production. How not to miss joy? Let me share with you three ways how to not miss joy. Number one, Christmas. What is Christmas? Christmas is about Jesus. Say with me, Jesus. Yes. Now, the very reason we celebrate Christmas is about the birth okay, of Jesus. Do you know that no Jesus means no Christmas? You know, the word Christmas, no Christ is only left with mass, M-A-S. You know? Now, Christmas marks the arrival of God's promised answer when the Creator God took the form of a baby and became God with us. That is the very name of Jesus. Okay, the Bible call it Emmanuel. Now, the very reason Jesus came is because human mess up. And that including you and I. We are not exempted, you know. We mess up in certain ways. Every one of us are broken. Okay, one way or the other. And when you think about it, the okay, things that you have done, let me tell you, okay, you won't be proud of it and uh, probably there's no joy okay, even talking about it. But the good news is this, this Christmas okay, that we are celebrating because Jesus came, that every one of us who chooses to believe in Him, in Christ, you can experience a permanent joy. Okay, then that only comes okay, by receiving, okay, knowing Jesus, okay, receiving Him as your personal Lord and Saviour. So number one, how not to miss joy? Okay, is because number one, Christmas is about, is about Jesus. Number two, number two is about others. Okay, you can share with others. You know, we like the saying, sharing is caring and caring is sharing right? especially it comes to food now what if you found the answer or the antidote or the secret okay to the most incurable disease in the world what will you do now you must be jumping up and down if you are the researcher okay or you the scientist right i believe that you will not keep this secret to yourself you will want to share it with others, not just your family members or relatives. In fact, to the whole world, you must be the happiest person okay, ever on earth because you found the answer. Not only that, people all over the world who are suffering of such disease must be overjoyed and to know this news okay, because okay, they are going to receive this antidote and they're going to live a bit longer. Right. Today, we are still skeptical as far as COVID-19 vaccination concerned. There are still people who yet to receive. But I believe that many of you okay, have received okay, uh, fully vaccinate, uh, vaccination. And, uh, and our government right now is talking about the booster okay, jab that we all of us got to receive. But again, okay, people died okay, because of the COVID-19. In fact, there are many other calamity, illness, okay, accident okay, that cause people to die. But one of the scriptures that I'd like to share with you in Luke chapter 2, verse 10, that says this, you know, the angel appears okay, to the shepherd and says, 
do not be afraid. Okay, what's a what what a joy okay to hear okay the angel coming to tell you the good news. And he said this, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. You know when you think when you think about uh, good news, let me ask you, when was the last time you were lost? You know you lost direction. Uh, lost in the jungle, okay, when hiking and all those, and someone found you. Wow, I, I believe you will be so happy. Uh, when was the last time you lost something? You know, I, I lost uh, a, a number of things before my car key, wallet, okay, and so on. Now, uh, there was a time I was in Tapa and uh, during the uh, youth camp, and we were doing this uh, stream trotting. And lo and behold, I dropped my car keys and uh, only realized when we came back to the camp, wow, how am I going to find my car key? Well, that was just amazing. Okay, at the end of the day, cut the story short, we found the key. You know, my father-in-law was just amazed. Okay, how can keys lost in the river and can be found? Wow, I can if you if you if you lost something and someone found it or you found it, I can see the smile okay in your face. Now, likewise, we are all lost people. All of us have seen and fall short okay the glory of God. That means we are all doomed okay to hell with the sin nature that's inside us. But how many of us realize why we celebrate Christmas? Because Jesus came. Right? Jesus came and shared this good news with us. Okay, and this good news is the great joy. Okay, the great joy okay, that Jesus came to save us. Amen. So how not okay, to miss joy? Number one, Christmas is about Jesus. Two, it's about others. Okay, sharing the good news with others. Number three. Number three, Christmas is also about you. That if you are sitting with your friends and family members, point to them, you, Christmas is about you. Now, the very reason we celebrate Christmas is also about you. Uh, allow me to repeat that. Now, as much as we think about Jesus, do you know that God the Father also thinking about you? In fact, I'm sitting here, I'm also thinking about you. Who, where are you right now, okay, watching this? Now, Christmas is about you. Uh, if it's not because of you, Jesus would not have come. Okay, can you see that? Now, you are the reason for the season. This is not to make you uh, narcissistic, okay, all about self. No, as far as we think about God, God is also thinking about you. God thinks about you all the time. And now God has great plans for you. Each and every one of you, great plan. A plan to prosper you. Okay, a plan to give you a hope and the future. Okay, what a wonderful saviour that we have. Okay, this Christmas, you must not miss this joy. Okay, because Christmas is about Jesus. That's right. Number two, Jesus, Christmas is about sharing the good news with others. Okay, others. Okay, Christmas. Number three, Christmas is also about you. You know what? As I share this uh, short message with you, uh, three points, Okay, how many of us realize that what I've shared to you is actually a three-letter word that I want to share with you? Okay, we are, I'm talking about number one, it's about Jesus. So starting with the letter J, okay, J, Jesus. Then number two, I'm talking about sharing with others. What is that? O, okay, first is Jesus, J. Second is the letter O because of others. And the third reason is because of you. Okay, the letter Y. What is that? J O Y. Joy. How can you not miss joy? Okay, this Christmas. So again, okay, as I close, uh, my prayer for each and every one of you that this Christmas, okay, you will discover joy, okay, differently, okay, in Jesus. So may the joy of the Lord comes upon you. How? By receiving okay, Jesus into your heart okay, as your personal Lord and Savior. So many of you who have received uh, Jesus and know Jesus, praise the Lord. For some of you who have not and you hear this message and you are celebrating Christmas, let this Christmas be a different Christmas for you and not to miss okay, joy and uh, to discover 
join okay in christ jesus so i want to invite you okay to pray with me as you receive the lord jesus christ now there's only three words that that i can uh, lead you okay it's three simple words okay that is i am sorry number two uh, please and number three thank you you know the very word okay that we learn from young okay you want to receive jesus okay into your heart and experience this permanent joy okay that you can find in jesus i invite you okay to close your eyes and repeat after me okay and receive jesus in your heart okay say it with me say dear jesus i am sorry lord for the wrong things that I've done in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for coming on this Christmas day. May the day come when you went to the cross to die for me. You shed your blood and forgive me and make me new again. Lord, please forgive me and now I invite Jesus to come into my heart and receive you as my personal Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name, Amen. Alright, praise the Lord. If you have prayed that prayer, I rejoice with you, okay, this Christmas. This Christmas, okay, be the most memorable, okay, Christmas, okay, for you because you didn't miss, okay, the joy, okay, in lockdown. Amen? Alright, if you have prayed that prayer, okay, tell your friends you are watching together or in the uh, uh, QR code that you can write to us so that we can help you, okay, to grow strong and knowing Jesus. Amen? So that's all for from me. Okay, God bless you. Merry Christmas to all of you and family. Wow, thank you, Pastor, for that message. It was very simple and yet very powerful, wasn't totally. it? Totally. I like the concept mm. of joy in this Christmas season yeah. for others and for you and I as well. Hey, what did you enjoy most about this? Well, I have to say I was really impressed with the quality of production and mm. the plot of the story you know yeah. this joy in lockdown yeah. what about you i like the testimonies I, I i feel like they had so much strength and so much faith in god and it really blessed my heart there wow what an amazing night not to mention the uh, carols and the dance and so on i hope you have enjoyed as much as we have Right, and uh, we're going to end now with a little bit of a carol. Let's sing in Chinese, Chinese. shall we? Wow. Yeah, all right, everyone. Don't, don't forget, in 2022, I hope we all will not <laughs> miss joy. So for now, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
谢谢天父赐下生命的礼物，谢谢耶稣以爱带来救赎。Some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never. 